Okay everyone, today I'm going to be doing the liquid light experiment. So I have on a piece of paper here three different colors of acrylic paint. I have red paint, green paint, and blue paint. So if you've ever painted before, it might already be obvious to you that when I mix these together, let's see what color I get. So you can see that when I mix all of these colors together, I just get this blackish color. But you also know that if you mix red, green, and blue light together, like in this experiment, you get white. So why is it that when you mix paint together, you get black, but when you mix light together, you get white? Well, that's because paint mixing is called subtractive color mixing. For example, the only reason this red paint is red is because it absorbs blue and green light and reflects red light. And the only reason this green paint is green is because it absorbs red and blue light and it reflects the green light. And the only reason this blue is blue, obviously, is because it absorbs red and green light and it reflects blue light. So when you mix them all together, all of the light has to pass through these different layers of paint. And so all of them are absorbing all the different colors of light. And so basically you just get no light coming back or black. Okay, and now here's the interesting question. So I have here a red glow stick, a blue glow stick, and a green glow stick. And I have this blue liquid, this green liquid, and this red liquid. So if I mix these together in a cup, what color is it going to produce? Is it going to be subtractive color mixing like my paint? Or is it going to be additive color mixing like mixing light together? So I'm going to so am I going to get this dark, muddy mixture, or am I actually going to get white? Am I going to get this white mixture out of these three different colors? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's pour it in here and see what happens. But before we do this, I want you to actually write your guess in the comments section. Is it actually going to produce a white liquid, or is it going to actually produce a darker, muddy mixture of these three colors? Okay, let's open up our red here. Whoa. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's put our green in. Okay, here we go. Okay, and now the blue. Okay, here's all our colors mixed together. Let's get a closer look at this and see what color this looks like. Okay, now what do you think? Were you right or wrong? Well, it's definitely not black, but it's not quite white either. It kind of has this reddish tint to the white. So what's actually going on here is this red glow stick actually has a little bit of red dye in it. And that red dye means that it's absorbing some blue and green light. So even though this should be producing white technically, it's kind of reddish because some of that blue and green light are being absorbed, and so we're seeing a reddish outcome. But what if I can reduce and absorb some of that red dye? Well, one way to do that is by absorbing it up through a paper towel. So let's see what it looks like when I absorb it through a paper towel here. Whoa, look at that, white light. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. So it actually produced white. So mixing glow sticks of three different colors together, red, green, and blue, was not subtractive color mixing, but it was actually additive color mixing. So we got white out of red, green, and blue glow sticks. Except we had to cheat a little bit by blocking some of this red pigment so we don't get the red light. We had to block a little bit of it so we could see more of the white effect. So now this is actually pretty interesting. What this would mean is that if an artist wanted to paint something with glow paints, they couldn't exactly use subtractive color mixing and they couldn't exactly use additive color mixing because some of the light can still be absorbed by some of the dyes in the glowing paint. So it's kind of this in-between state. Okay, so how many of you actually guessed right what was going to happen in this experiment? It was a little bit hard to guess and it was actually kind of a curveball because we had to absorb it through a paper towel first and then it produced white light. 
Okay, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell so you can be notified when my latest video is out. And check out theactionlab.com to see the new Action Lab subscription box. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.